yeah, the sport uh, the sport doesn't have a lot of things such as like these colored body pieces, which are really really nice if you can see them. Um, the sport's a great buy. Don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, it starts around you know right now you could probably get one for for twenty five thousand uh, or so. Um, and then the club you know is more around thirty thirty one. And of course, the club BBS Brembo is is more like thirty six. And if you're if you've got the money and you can you can buy the uh, club RF BBS Brembo, you're talking nearly forty thousand. Uh, but that one is is you know hooked up. I mean, you've got giant uh, giant big calipers in the front. You've got great wheels, BBS lightweight wheels, and you've got the Recaro seats. Of course. Uh, I do not have Recaro seats in here. I have the standard cloth seats being in the club. The only other option was to get a Grand Touring. If you really want leather, you're going to have to get a Grand Touring. Um, it does not come in these. Now, they do, before for the 2020 year, they offer uh, red Napa leather, black leather. And there's a rumor in 2021 that they're going to be coming out with a white leather. Uh, now, that should be interesting because... As you know, white is not exactly the e most easiest uh, color to take uh, take care of. So the red Napa leather was beautiful. I did test drive an RF hardtop with red Napa leather. However, being the RF GT, it did not have Bilstein shocks like this. It did not have a front strut tower brace like this, even though many people can put their own aftermarket one. Um, it did not have a lot of things, uh, you know, like stabilizer, stabilizer bars and things like that. Um, so I think honestly, the, 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 probably the best buy is the club. However, however, if you are one of those guys that are planning on customizing everything, you know, everything, you can add your own limited slip, which is probably a better aftermarket version. You could do that on the sport and save yourself some money. You get 16 inch wheels on the sport. You get 17 inch, wheel, 17 inch wheels on all the other versions. The sport is the cheapest for a reason. However, the uh, white sport is actually the lightest vehicle because the paint is some somewhat, something around 15 or 16 pounds lighter overall for the car. That might not sound a lot, but when you're fighting for weight in a little car like this to keep it as as quiet, uh, excuse me, as little weight as possible, that does make a difference. Sorry about that. So the white sport <clears throat> with the six speed, that is the one that a lot of people do purchase um, for the sole fact that is very customizable. You could put your own limited slip on your own giant brake kit. Uh, your own uh, whatever, you know, racing seats, whatever you want. Um, with the club here, which is the non-BBS Brembo Recaro Club, you can put those wheels and brakes on this. However, the seats are almost impossible to swap or find because of one thing. And you know what I'm going to say. It's the airbags inside them. There are airbags inside the Recaro that you can't really kind of mess with or no company wants to try to imitate them. Let me put it that way. No company wants to take the liability and create seats for this car um, because of the airbags inside the seats. Um, and also, uh, the Sport only has, I think, five speakers and, uh, like I said, no heated seats. Now, being a convertible, heated seats are kind of something you really do want to have um it's not a necessity especially well let me put it this way if you live in the north with a convertible which i do i'm in pennsylvania and i you know i've been here for a while if you live in arizona you're never going to need heated seats in fact i'd ask for cooled seats but mazda will never do that that's a thing lexus does or or you know the top of the line cx30 might have uh, ventilated seats are much more difficult to implement and, and and have a lot of weight with them. Heated seats, not so much. It's just a heated element with a wire under the carpeting. So um, we're going to get on the road and drive it. As soon as I, I want to show you this shifter, um, as again, this is the stock shift knob. It is a six-speed manual as standard. Um, it's a great, great gearbox. Um, and a little close to these buttons here, you know, I, if I had a choice... Um, in my, my Miata Net sticker. Shout out to Miata Net Storm eighty eight thousand. Uh, this is a little bit for some people. Now I, I'm about five foot nine, so I'm not 
I'm, I'm about the right size for this car, in my opinion. Now, you can drive this car if you're a lot taller. I've seen guys eat out of Miatas and they're six foot four. I don't know how they do it. I wouldn't do it um, because I'm cramped as it is, you know, being a munchkin. Well, not really, you know what I mean. <laughs> five foot eight isn't exactly, or five foot nine isn't actually tall, but it's not sh that short. But I mean, you know, I've been around a lot of these guys getting out of these cars and they're six foot four, you know, and my head's up to their belly button. So I don't know. It, it's a car that, uh, you know, if you can fit in it, you can fit in it. It has, it doesn't have a powered seat, at least not in the club, uh, but it does have a lot of adjustment in terms of, um, uh, lum it doesn't have lumbar. It has, you can adjust the, the seat, how high or low it is. Um, you know, if you pull it forward, the seat tilts back further because obviously it can't go back any further than that. Um, yeah. So anyway, it's a great car, great, great car. And we're going to drive it in a moment. I'm sorry for the delay. I'm just waiting for some traffic to clear up over there. There was an accident. Um, I did put an led up there. That's a little bright. Um, another thing, the club does not come with a, uh, home link mirror so it's a traditional you bet it you guessed it just like the 1970s a flip one so um you lose some things with the club but you can gain some things too uh the club is the lightest besides the sport because the uh grand touring or gt has the most accessories and therefore will weigh a little bit more not that much that you're going to feel much of a difference but again when you have a 181 horsepower with 151 foot pounds of torque in 2020 and want to be called a sports car, that makes a big difference. This car, no doubt, is as successful as it is because how little it weighs. There is no doubt about it. You could, I mean, the first Miata had 116 horsepower and I believe 100 foot pounds of torque. So this is, you know, so much, should be so much faster, but you know, it only weighs a hundred pounds more. So it is, you know, you get, we, we get into these things where we, we get these cars with a lot of horsepower, but they weigh 4,000 pounds, like the Kia Stinger GTs in the mid 3000s, I believe. So you're talking almost 1200 pounds more than this. Yes. It's got a lot more power and a much bigger engine, but that's the thing, you know, this car, what they're going for with this car was a lightweight car that had a good amount of power for what the weight was relative to its weight. Not a, a, It's not a muscle car. It's not anything near even close to that. It's a sports car, but it's on the border. You know, I'll give it, um, that's the way I put it. It handles like a sports car, no doubt about it. Because if you've driven one of these or been one of these, you know that. Especially this, this 2020 model, uh, as opposed to the older ones. Um, so... All right, so we're going to get out on the road. I'm going to kill this for a second, and we'll be back on the road in just a second.